time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live. Hope everybody's having a good day. S&P up 33, NASDAQ up 165, Russell up 27, Dow up 210. Gold down a half percent, silver slightly red, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield popping up three and a quarter percent, sitting at 3.97. Oil up a little under 1%, Natty Gas down four, Soybeans, corn, wheat, all red. Euro, red, pound, a little bit green. Bitcoin up 2%. VIX, big contraction after the jobs report this morning, down over 7%, sitting at 18.98. I did, uh, well, let's start with BIX here. My normal BIX are up about 1,600. I've had three put side stops. That is it so far. Uh, I've got one piece of a price action BIC left. Need a little bit of a down move to get back to center on that one. Um, I did a discretionary one DTE so that I could transform it after the, uh, it was really after the first flush when we got down kind of near um, near the downside expected move in SPX. I put on a one DTE transformed it into an upside vertical for Monday's expiration. I've also got a, well, this is a downside vertical from a 1DTE I put in yesterday. So that's going to hit minimum profit unless we tank. And then what else? Uh, I took off my oil strangle, just didn't want to hold that risk over the weekend. It's pretty close to my exit point anyway. And I've so far for double calendars, I've put on my four, seven, five, seven, and six, seven. And then I've also got on a early, there's my early Wooga just inside the tent and my OG Wooga just inside the tent as well. So that is it for me for now. Chad, how's your day? It's been a really good day. Um, hopefully things don't get bad here. We just had a big up move. Um, I didn't put my one DT on right away. It was, I completely just figured I wasn't going to do it uh, because the VIX was down. And so then uh, about 945, you know, the, the VIX had really started uh, um, getting some juice pumped in. So I went ahead and put one on, ended up booking 25% and 50% and out on that one. Nice winner. My AM number one, 2040, 60 and out. Lunchtime number one, 2040, 60 and out. And then I just put on a power hour trade and I was debating. I was like, man, I, maybe I should just shut this down. Um, but I was like, oh, I'll stick to the process here and put on a power hour trade. Um so it's, I put that on literally oh, about five minutes ago. So it's a little right of center with this up move. Um, I do have uh, an early Wooga on. And then I ended up uh, putting a little bit of money in a in my Tastyworks account. I hadn't traded with Tastyworks for a while. But that way I can have um, uh, two accounts to trade Woogas specifically. So... Got a Wooga on in that account and a Wooga on in my other account. Wooga's all over the place. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, this works just a, I mean, I don't, have to, I don't overlap strikes, accidentally close one out. You know, kind of like you said, you have two accounts for them. 
Yeah, it definitely comes in so, handy for sure. So it should have a nice green day here, barring, um, uh, you know, any type of craziness. I was up about 7K in my TLC 1 DTE account before I put this power hour trade on. Just entered my last big tranche. I still have my three six four five three five three seven to put on. I'm kind of debating on not doing a four five. It carries the most risk with the least reward a lot of times. I'm not. I mean my my double calendars so far that I put on have been pretty normal position size, so I'm not really scaling down. But there is that weekend risk of the uh of the middle east stuff going on so i don't know i may uh i may skip the four or five but still do the three six three five three seven it's going to be a game time decision It just, you know, any of these, if you get a big move over the weekend, obviously they're going to suffer, but the four or five just carries so much more risk because it's a diagonal. Yep. I already put on a five, seven, six, seven. And four, seven. And this little bounce, we've got a decent little vol contraction. VIX, are at, VIX is at lows of day. We had that nasty little 20-point drop. What time was that? 12.35 Central. And I had just recently got gone 60% and out. So when that happened, I, I didn't have any position on except my one DTE and the down move actually helped it. So I've been stopped out by a lot of nasty moves like that in the past. Yeah, I didn't have uh, I didn't have much on either. I didn't my BIX that I had on were wide enough that it didn't affect those. I haven't had any slippage today. Ten cents max on those three three sides that I got. Those three put size that I got stopped on from this morning. But yeah, I would assume it looked like a couple of people got hit with some slips on that little flush. A big Friday Night Lights game tonight. Stone's first ever suiting up varsity. So exciting times in our house. So you're going to get some playing time? Well, I mean, he's right now he's number three. D, uh, number three, he said he's been ro rotating in number three D tackle. So, I mean, I wouldn't expect it. Um, but they've killed everybody they've played with the exception of Rockhurst. And so pretty much everybody's gotten in. They play a pretty good team, though. St. James Academy. So I don't know if you will or not, but he found out yesterday after practice, he was traveling. He was pretty excited and had to rush around last night and find him some dress, some dress clothes that fit because they have to dress up at school. The varsity does when they, on game day, gets to eat pregame meal, all that stuff with them. So pretty excited.
just got filled in my three six. Yeah, you know, all day I've been, I've had this feeling this thing was just gonna just rip to all time highs at some point. Still time, buddy. Still time. I know. I mean, I hope it does it. It needs to start coming down for just about every one of my trades I have on. A bad feeling. I love that it's pretty much stayed between where it is now and 5720 for quite a while. My Wugas need a little down move. Yeah, for sure. My power hour trade needs some down move too. 5730 would be pretty pretty good. My account that I, um, no, I think I, a smaller account that I had uh, 10K in, I, I can't remember when I started trading that. But I with, I withdraw from it quite a bit, usually every week uh, for certain things. But now it's just eclipsed 25K. So, PDT. Yeah. So now I guess I really don't have to, as long as I keep it above it, I don't have to worry about making a mistake. Yeah, I think I'm just going to skip the four or five tomorrow. I think I'd be mad at myself if I did it and it took a $10,000 loss. Yeah, Kelvin. Um, I've done a couple TLC trades like early when they were really wide, you know, maybe just get like 40 and out. But. Pretty much three trades a week, but unless I'm leaving a Wooga on at the end of the day and it expires, um, and it expires worthless, you know, then that doesn't count. My Tasty works here. I just put a couple grand in it, and so I'm gonna see how far I can grow to that. And I get a lot of people I do Zoom calls with, and they, you know, tell me they've got three, four, five k. 10k and you know what can they do and um so it's really kind of helped me be able to have conversations with them when i do zoom calls with them and you know they're thinking about joining pro membership like you know it's like what what can i trade with this much money how much can i make i mean you get all these types of questions I also jumped on the Theta Junkie bandwagon with the early single 6-7 calendar. That thing hit profit target in about 50 minutes. That was nice. Nice little trade earlier. I didn't post it. or any, I posted in the calendar chat channel. I didn't post it because I'm just... I was just kind of testing it, but... It looks like a nice one to add to the plan. So I I have on a call one as well that I put on about the same time. It's about twice as expensive and it's it's up about 8% right now. Is that normally how those are? Is are the call sides usually that much more expensive than the puts? 
on the six sevens on Friday? Because I got into the put side for. 260 and I got into the uh the call side same strike same time and I paid uh five dollars and ninety five cents so over twice as much And like I said, my the put side one hit 12% profit target within 50 minutes. My six, seven, I've still got, or my uh, call side, I've still got on. It's at about seven or eight percent. Yeah, I'm on the uh, 5720s, Dave S, but about the same amount profit. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting that. I had a, I had double checked, tri triple checked it a couple times because I was like, is it? I haven't broken apart a calendar and, you know, traded the two sides like that, both the same strike. I haven't broken them apart like that. Well, specifically on a six seven. So I had to triple check and make sure I was doing the right thing. I've, I was surprised there's that much difference. Do the three, four on Monday. Yeah, I've been doing the the uh, double calendar, not the at the money one though. I think my three, four is like a 20 or 25 delta. SPX hovering, no, not quite to highs of day. Highs of day was near the open at about 57.46. We're at 34. VIX, lows of day.
go ahead and get my 3.7 on. All right, so the only thing I have left is my three five. Need about three or four point drop here. It's like she wants to take off. Yep, still holding my ricks. You know, when SPX got down to the expected move after I, you know, I entered my first one at the open, wasn't even close to profit target. And I thought about taking it off then because I was like, man, this thing's really going to have to move lower to, to hit. I didn't. And then my late one is still on as well. So just letting them ride. My late one is profitable. My early one is in the valley. Uh, Dark Avenger, yeah, I just like spreading them out, getting so I'm not just trying to get them all on at the same time during power hour. At some point, when there's bots available for Tradier, I'll be botting them all. So that'll, that'll help. Not getting much theta decay in this power hour trade at all. Yeah, I've got my IB account reserved strictly for... Bix, because then, um, you know, if I have, if I do ones that have three, three day options, they'll still be there on Monday and my Bix will be trying to, so that there'd be conflict there. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the, uh, the next solution to come not too far away. Ray Stewart only works with Schwab right now. They're waiting on Tasty to for some compliance issues to get that done. Just grinding higher. 
Individual stocks made a little bit of money day trading this morning. Uh, we got Reddit is up 7%. UPST at 5.8. Shopify up 5. Coinbase up 4. Tesla up 3. Meta up 2. Amazon up 2. Netflix up 1.5. NVIDIA up 1.25. On the red side, Rocket, what is that, Rocket Mortgage, Rocket Companies, down four, Home Depot down, Apple a little bit red, yeah, good point, Anil, Trade Steward does work with Tradier, but just not with indices. Next week, Monday, the only thing really is Kash Kashkari speaks at 12.50 p.m. Central, but it's shown as low impact. Fireside chat about the economy, bank regulation, and M&A trends at the Bank Holding Company Association Fall Seminar in Minnesota. That should be fun. Um and then Tuesday, let's see, Bostic and Colin, uh, Collins is after the market. So just Bostic, again, showing this low impact. Wednesday, a couple more Fed speakers and the FOMC minutes released in the afternoon at 1 p.m. Central. Then Thursday and Friday, CPI and PPI pre-market. All right. And a couple more bed speakers. I probably would have gone bigger position size on my calendars because I like the uh, having my longs on Thursday and Friday on that six and seven DTE, but just doing a reasonable position size with everything going on. In case Israel decides to retaliate this weekend. I would think most of it is kind of priced in, but never know. Yeah, exactly, Dan B. For those of you wondering, and because I know you are, EPI last time was August 13th. TLC trades ended up being minus 47.90. So nasty red day there. Two big losers in the morning. What day was that? That was the last PPI day. But what, what was the date? August 13th. August 13th. Okay, so yeah, started off and just a big one directional update, looks like. And then August 14th was CPI, and that was minus 3,515. Had a full stop in the morning and had a full stop for power hour. So that day on the daily chart, looks like it had some down action and then big up move. Yeah, I had... Uh, a 204060 and out for my AM1, AM2 full stop. Lunchtime, 204060 and out. Scratch trade power hour, full stop power hour. So, so what's nah. the plan? What's the plan this week? I mean, I'm still going to I'm I know I know if I go back and look at the other times I've been I've been green on those days and so um I'll probably stick with the process. I may, may scale down, which I kind of have to see. Maybe, maybe I need to do a little less less contracts, maybe. And before those days hit, I'll I'll go back and look at like every single month that had PPI and CPI, and see how I did. Have any of the Bickers researched CPI PPI days for Bix? 
I would assume not much different, but I haven't looked. You're just hovering at the top of this range that it kind of bounced off of one, two, three times earlier today. Let's hope it does it four times. I still need a dollar twenty on my power hour trade that I placed thirty minutes ago. Don't forget, everyone, Saturday night, big Royals game against the Yankees in New York. Make sure you're tuned in. I know you're excited. Uh-oh. Here we go. I'm getting stopped out on some call sides. And there go my big profits for the day. Well, as long as it slows down. And I still don't have any double stops. I barely survived my power hour trade. Now Wuga is really going to need a down move. Yep. Not very confident in that with... The strongest things are. Bummer. I had a really, 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 really good green day. Still Stop. going. Stopped on power hour. I've still got the 5750 and the 5745 calls. So I don't really want much more upside here. Got to keep my green big streak alive. My calendars are liking it. My six sevens already up seven percent. Oh, I still got to do my three five. Let me go ahead and do that now.
with darn little green bars got me. I was never even close to 20% profit on that power hour trade. I should have known just to get out of it. Ooh, nice data junkie. Yeah, I got to get on the early 6-7 train. A little heavier. I like that. My Wugas need below 35, please. Preferably between 25 and 30. Yeah, if we can finish below the uh, 50 or below 45, I'll still have a a green big day. Yeah, 45, that's the number, Dan B. We need Mr. SPX to settle down. Yeah, I think this is I think this is ripping to all time highs today. Sure feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not in the cards. Not the cards today. Come on, SPX, prove us wrong. See what you got. You've done it before. Just do it again. I was up about 5K on TLC, and now I'm only up 1640 because I got greedy at Power Hour.
plus plus 3710 for the day between TLC and 1DTE. My six seven call calendar from earlier is you know, it's about twenty cents away from profit target. Moving back up. About 27 plus minutes. Let's see what these uh, butterflies are trading for. Let's see the 45. Uh, stopped on one of my calls. There's a double stop. That was on my 9.15 a.m. tranche. Survived all the way till right now. Oh, wow. My stop was at seven ninety, and it closed at $4 and 20 cents because of my in the money protection. Wait a minute. That should not have triggered. It's a 45 call. Should have had to go to 50 before it. Huh. You got to figure out what happened there. That should not have gotten stopped yet. <clears throat> now, if we keep pushing, it'll benefit, but. Uh, it's just, a, it's a feature on TAT, Moel. So if you don't have TAT, it's just, you can set if price goes so far in the money that it'll just automatically take you out of the trade. What's all time highs? All time highs is fifty seven sixty seven. We're twenty three oh. points away, twenty four points away. Forty five butterflies trading for about a dollar ten, maybe. About seven points away from highs of day. Actually, that was pre-market. Pre-market highs. Maybe we'll get an end of day Friday sell-off. A little profit taking maybe? A little nervous at the end of the day, going into the yeah. weekend. I, mean, I would. Down. I'd do it.
Well, I'd say there's a bunch of stops right above 5803 in S&P futures. That was the pre-market high. Oh, I see. I had the in the money protection at one on that one for some reason. I mean, we've only had three, three red bars and two of them just barely since one fifteen central. So you're saying we're due? Yeah, big time. Here's my six seven call calendar. Probably just take this off if I don't hit profit target. Creeping back up. At 20 minutes till the bell, 10 minutes till MOC. Maybe Wooga can get a big sell side number.
I forgot I had to do my OG Booga in this account. So the strikes are going to interfere with my home. So I may close that one early anyway. I bet Mahomes is a big winner today. I mean, there has been zero consolidation in price for the last hour and a half. None. Vix is trying to act like there's no fear for the weekend. SPX currently right at highs of day. Forty five butterfly still trading for just over a buck. Well, maybe a buck maybe a buck twenty. I don't think so, Chris. I, mean, I hope so, but I take about 15 points down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we're asking, let's go 15. There is nothing that looks like this is going to go come down at all. MOC in five minutes. There's a little tiny red bar.
Come on, keep on coming. Keep her coming. All right, I got out of my single six, seven call cal for about eight, eight percent. Well, this Wooga is in my way. Yes, this is going to go right back up. And we'll see in two minutes. One minute till MOC. 45 butterfly trading for about a buck 40, buck 35. I'll leave my Wooga on just in case for another minute. Where's my MOC? They're late. Two hundred fifty-five million buy side. I've got a couple minutes before I got to start putting my Mahomes in. So just seeing if I can get a little bit more out of a little bit lower loss out of Wooga.
out at 950. I'll just let my one in the trade here go. Work in the 45s and 50s. And work in the 40s. Forty fives look like they're trading for a buck sixty five, buck seventy. Pushing back up, new highs of day. It's heading for the pre-market highs. It's guaranteeing max loss in my Wuga. Five minutes to go. Fifty fly trading for buck ninety, maybe. Fifties are close to filling. My bot filled on the 50s, and so did Toss. All right, need to move away from 50, preferably down.
Lows below 50. My Bix will be green for the day by a little bit. Three minutes. Uh, ES approaching pre-market highs. And another call side stop, so I'm not going to be green on my BIX. Two minutes. Six sevens already up ten percent. You move away from 50. Need a move away from 50. One minute to go. Thirty seconds, and we're hovering at fifty. Need to move five seconds. And there's the bell. Ouch. Not a good close for Mahomes. 50.99 is the close. All right, all. That is a wrap for the week. Uh, I just posted the live stream schedule for October. So chat will be streaming live Monday morning at the open. We'll be back for power hour. Same time, same place. All right, all. Everyone have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.